Hey gang, it's me again, Al, over here at One Man Indy, and I am back with more Star Shift. Uh, people started calling it Star Shift Monday, so yeah, we'll call it Star Shift Monday, Monday until I'm actually, uh, I guess, done with the demo, and then probably the, the Origins as well, and the other game. So yeah, we can probably make it Star Shift Monday, why not? Star Shift Monday. So now, mission right now is for us to head back to home base get us some sleep because we got a big day tomorrow we got a briefing coming up offices offices so now we got to go down a lab we got the lab float to the other side yes sir you know the vibes the lip heart mouse oh <laughs> lip heart mouse Hey, now wait, all y'all can't fit in my apartment at the same time, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, this is Anna, so should have dropped Anna off, but I'm going to just head to my place. For, oh, okay, so I guess everybody else left. I was like, hey, hear me? <laughs> hey, hey. Well, 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 Anna, you naughty girl. Came for your own debriefing. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's finally come to this full-scale war with Novus. Something's not right. The ESA isn't powerful enough to take on both Novus and their allies. This move just makes them look more aggressive. Damn it. What the hell does the VCC think they're doing? Oh, the VCC does what the VCC wants, I guess. What a bunch of out-of-touch, violent, psychopathic, greedy nut jobs. Hey, baby. You don't need to say all of that now. I'm on. They are the guys that's fitting the bill, baby. They only care about credits and power. Scum of the earth. We need to stand with the ESA right now in this time of need. Yeah, I don't like the VCC either. Yeah, I don't trust the VCC either. There was no good reason to escalate the conflict. Now all we're going to get is a bunch of deaths on both sides. <clears throat> Things about to get much more dangerous. We're going to have to make some hard decisions before long. I got a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I was... <laughs> I'll leave that right there, but... The word hard in decisions. But I'll, I'll, I'll just leave that there. This is Interstellar News Network. I'm your host, Brian or Byron Williams. You can see Brian, too. A few hours ago, the Virtual Corporate Co uh, corporate Council declared an aggressive expansion of ESA military operations in the Outer Rim. You could have just said war. Come on, all of that, man, bruh. This is in response to the Novus Machine's colonization of multiple solar systems in the Outer Rim, formerly held by the ESA. I mean, you're always losing. Director Kern of the VCC and CEO of the largest ESA corporation declared... They are taking action to stop terrorism to maintain a prosperous ESA state. The Nose regime responded that they would not sign a peace treaty until the ESA has left the outer rim. That's a cool picture. The Nose regime began their attack immediately. They destroyed the warp gate in the Lawrence system. What, they did? For those in our audience who aren't aware of the science, the warp gates do not allow us to warp ships. They have engines for that. The gates stop the warp reaction. This is a protective measure. With the invention of warp drive only two centuries ago, it didn't take long for it to be used as a weapon. Really? I'm amazed at the beauty of our weapons, their power, their strength, their grace. Missiles capable of warping through planets Provided, uh, proved to be quite destructive. These gates prevent warp drives from working within a solar system. It keeps us all safe. Anti-warp defenses were mandated in all colonized systems in accordance with the Gemini Treaty after the planet Gemini was destroyed. That's interesting. Excuse me. <clears throat> It's a dark day in ESA history. Without a, a way to defend against anti-warp, against to defend against warp-based weapons, Lorne Six will surely be destroyed. The VCC has announced increased patrols. <laughs> Whoa! 
That came out of nowhere. Sorry about that. And they were all working to prevent something like this from ever happening again. We must say to ourselves, never again. Really, bro? <laughs> the heck? That came out of nowhere. Excuse me. If you have a son or daughter who are willing to serve the ESA, we need everyone from all walks of life to defend the ESA homeland from all threats, foreign and domestic. Please consider signing up your son or daughter to serve in the ESA Navy. They need you to carry the torch of strength, unity, and victory. If you do not carry the torch, we will descend into chaos. Now we'll move on to the known galaxy's largest beauty pageant, human, canine, felite, and alien beings come together too. Yo, he's definitely the corporate mouthpiece. How many times has that guy said never again? At least about twice. Man, I'm tired. Where's the, where's the bed? Yeah, he's definitely the state propaganda machine right there. Sorry about that, folks. I'm fighting off the last vestiges of a cold. And it seems like a little bit of the sickies I had this weekend. So, sorry about that. I'm kind of fighting that off. Sheesh. Woo. Sleep. Full rest has been achieved. That quick? It's almost 600 hours. I guess I'm early. Uh-oh. If this space station's a rocking. <laughs> what the hell was that? Something shook the whole station. Emergency message to senior staff. This is not a drill. This is director Rah! to all staff. A troop support, a transport of unknown configuration has collided with the station. Marines have boarded the station. I repeat, unidentified Marines have boarded the station. More troops support transports incoming. Message to all ship commanders. Get to your ships immediately. Destroy the remaining transports. Message to Station 11 staff, track down, slow down, capture or kill all intruders. It's on, baby. Okay. Take command of the Dauntless is the next part of the mission. So we got to... We gotta let it do what it do, baby. It's that time, baby. We gotta let it do what it do. Maybe I'll save. Just in case. No, no, not up here. I still don't know how I did pull that one off. All right. That old RPG maker, 2K3, uh-oh. Battle time! Hey, look at what I've got here. An ESA scumbag. Fight. Move your might. Mortal Kombat! Scythe Boomerang. Ooh! Oh, Cody. That's what the, the poker tubers would say. Oh, the code. It's just one hit KO. Got him good, baby. Okay. What we got going on? Oh, so I can't. No. We have to get to the ship. We? I only see me. Hey, girl. What's going on, baby? Al, is that you? You know it is, baby. The one and only, baby. What's going on right now? Hey. <laughs> Marine rebels have hit the station. More carriers are incoming. We've been ordered to destroy them. Take command of the Mosquito. I'll take command of the Dauntless. Yeah, girl. Is something wrong, Lieutenant? No, sir. Let's move. Objective, get to the Dauntless. Excuse me. Priority targets dis discovered. Oh, that's a, that's a robot. Priority targets discovered. Take them out. Hey ya! There we go. What? Come on, that usually is a one hit KO, baby. What's going on? What's going on, baby? That usually is a one hit KO, baby.
I might as well, we might as well just see if I can get this guy one and done. And no, I cannot. Behold the power of God. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. We need the doctor, baby. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. And there we go. Just that simple. But beforehand, before we start getting too far ahead of ourselves, let us get this and uh, get a couple of these med kits up on us. We're all out, though. Uh, Tearing lungs, synthetic wine. Get some of that synthetic wine up in your baby. Get you nice and tipsy. We don't have to take off. <laughs> I don't know. I'll stop. Think that synthetic wine. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, wow. The whole station is a rocking. I'll go to the mosquito. See ya. But I guess this is the wrong one. The wrong door we gotta go through. Do 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 turn to the ship, yes. That bass line. That bass that bass, baby, that bass. Okay, so but the sun is in my eyes because literally where I'm at right now is about noon where I'm at. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh Dauntless. And the mosquito. Well, I guess they do call it a mosquito. That's like really ultra small. They've hacked our railgun satellites. Oh, hold on. We gotta go back over here to do that. Defeat them all, Director. Rah! We don't have much time. Reinforcements incoming. Okay, so we gotta defeat the. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see now. Can we attack? I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. Guess we'll kind of stay right here for a second. We'll kind of stay kind of bunched up. Rebel Corvette. And then he got close. And then he got all up in his face. Yeah, yeah, I shot you. What you gonna do about it? Ooh. Look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. And turn. And now we go through the technical battle system. Oh man. And it's what happens when I'm trying to talk too. Uh what happened? Oh. And they deploy the fighter drones. That's a smart idea though. And I, that's a cool idea that uh uh Psychronic came up with uh with that. That is pretty cool that he had the ship actually release his own drones and stuff like that. That is very, very smart. Like, this game has so many cool, different kind of ideas and stuff with it, man. It goes to show you that RPG Maker can really produce a lot of great stuff. With the right kind of devs and the right kind of, uh, uh, like, you know, dedication. People just gotta be dedicated. They gotta be in it for the love, man. They gotta be in it for the love of, the, of, of game making. Oh crap, that was a bad move. Oh, I forgot, okay. I guess we gotta take those out. Okay, so we gotta attack. Hold on, I gotta go back over here now because I was watching. Watching the battle, attack. Yep. 
and I think I'll end my turn here because it's when we're right, like right next to the rail gun. All right, so let's move a little bit and see if we can attack. I mean, I guess we can uh, attack that. Get him up out. Maybe a little farther in. And I'll turn and we'll turn the, uh, this away. Okay, well that takes care of that. Now here's the crazy thing about it. After they take out the rail gun drone, the rail guns and everything else like that, then they're gonna be that their, their defense will go all the way down. That's gonna you know that that's gonna cost all kinds of money. All kinds of money. That's gonna cost all the money. All of it. Cause I, I know those things weren't cheap to put together. I mean put up there. So it's like, man, man, that is Uber balls. So it's like, man, like you just, you got no choice. You just gotta suck it up and just accept the fact that you just, I'm on, the, oh, I hit the wrong doggone thing. Doggone it. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Did a mosquito about to be out? About. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Or do I do the special? Uh. Nope. So I gotta. I guess I gotta step up out. Gotta step out on faith. And hit this bad boy. Hit this sucker up. Sucker, mm -hmm. it's jive time, turkey. I remember that was a thing. Remember that was a time when actually those were actual fighting words. You know how crazy that is. Somebody calls you a jive time turkey, and people were ready to throw hands. Man, that's just insane. Oh yeah. Hit them, attack drones. Get them. Get them. Get them. Rebel Corvette. Little Red Corvette. Yeah, yeah, man. That's what's, that's what's gonna happen here. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Feel strong, my friend, huh? You feel tough, feel strong, yeah? This what's going on here? Mm, what about, wait a minute, what about my special attack? Uh, that's the only special I got, I guess, or I'm, uh... Um, I guess I am uh, gonna end my uh, turn. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna end my turn. Hmm. What about those uh, Matcon torpedoes? Oh no, so you don't want to. I mean, I guess we'll try it, see what happens. Ah, oh, that didn't do a doggone thing. That was a waste. Boo this man! Boo!
Come on. Hmm. Got him out. Got him about cool. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So that little area is right there. I mean, I guess uh, Psychronic was trying to best he trying to try to get it into the right area so it can be attacked because that's not a, a, a regularly sized like uh, um, like tile or whatever. That's like a regularly sized character set. Now all we gotta do is deal with the drones. Uh oh. No, not the drones. Don't attack the drones. Don't do that, baby. What did the drones ever do to you, baby? Mm, I guess I might as well wait my turn. Yeah, cause we're all we're all over here, so I guess I should have split it up, split up my force, but. I mean, I guess I still can. I can like, go over here, I guess. Try to help out these guys over here. You know, they'd be lost without me. You know, I'm, you know, me being an integral part of the, 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 the fight and everything like that. You know. You know. It's hard being popular, you know what I mean? You're doing good, little Corvette. You're doing good. Keep up the fight, bro. Yeah, I know. I know they have to be pissed. They got their drones hacked. Oh, now there's some boys and girls ain't coming home. That's messed up. Those are somebody's kids not coming home all because of some foolery. Okay, so that's the end of that. But do I move now? I guess I could move and try to come over here. Rebel Corvette A. All right, so now I can move. I can move. I can fight. Uh, maybe I can just attack. No, maybe come a little bit closer. Get a little closer. So now, maybe if I use the Metcon torpedoes. Oh, I think I can get them both. Okay, can I get the other guy too? So close. I like the fact that the system gives you the ability to move again after you attack. Okay, I got a message from something. Do 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 like the Gundam series was really good about kind of like, like showing how like mankind was always is always in some way or another always going to be in some kind of a state of war um just any of them like you can just go to any one of the Gundam series at any point or ever, and you can you can see the same thing. And it's kind of sad because like you can see like people like they have like these amazing type of like uh, the technology and stuff like that, and then they just waste it all on just petty violence, all because well somebody feels the need to I don't know be the big swinging dongus in the room. And they all got their all kind of justifications and their reasons for doing it. And you can kind of understand it on both both sides why, you know? So I think this game does a, a, a pretty good job of trying to explain that same kind of thing, like this whole kind of the effery of war, you know what I mean? 
Like, it's just kind of explaining, like, look, man, this is literally, it's like a war. What is it good for? Like, almost, you know, absolutely. Say it again. It's just really just really kind of sad, man. That no matter what happens at whatever point in time in history, humans are always going to find some kind of way of expertly, expertly now, coming up with ways of killing one another. And that's a sad, sad kind of statement of our species. It really is. I really wish it wasn't that way. I wish we could be better. Okay. Oh, mosquito. Oh, the mosquito's doing fine. Oh, that was somebody else. They, they didn't attack me. I don't. Did they attack me? I guess maybe they did. I don't know. All right. Well, time's come to attack back, baby. Oh, we'll move back a little bit. You know, ah, well, you're not going to be around much longer anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. So let's see. We, why not? I kind of like using that Matt Kahn tor torpedo. Oh, wow. All right, well, you know what? Just stop messing around. Put the boots to the glutes. Interesting how they actually programmed the AI for this. And I think that should be it. This director rah, to all senior officers. All Marine carriers have been destroyed. We have one enemy squad remaining. They are attempting to get into the slipstream chamber control room. Lieutenant Alomi, Lieutenant uh, Anna Valenti, please report to the lab. Okay, report to Director Ra in the main laboratory. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to fight our fight our way to and through. The director. And the most unlikeliest team up ever. Hey girl, let me in. Let me in. I'm trying to work here, get out. All right, fine, whatever. I thought you wanted to scan me or whatever. I don't know. You don't have to be so touchy. I'm trying to work here. That's what you sound like. The lab. Thank you both for taking out the remaining Marine uh, transports. We've got a bit of a situation still. There's one squad remaining. We suspect they're here for the quantum chip. What is the quantum chip? And what about the quantum dip? It's complicated. No, it's not that kind of quantum complicated. You know, you take a little bit of quantum, you flatten it down, you bake it a little bit, you cut it into chips. Get that guacamole going, baby, and uh, we got a party. Anyway, we can discuss this later. For now, we need to focus on capturing these operatives. They could have valuable intelligence. We sent a team to retrieve the chip, but we lost radio communications. Let's see if we can retrieve the chip. Count me in as well. Are you sure about that, homie? I may be old, but I can still fight better than most of these fresh cadets. I'm coming too. Ho ho. Director Ra joins the party. Let's take the lift to the control room. Objective complete. Defeat terrorist invaders in the slipstream chamber control room. All right. The lift. Take lift to control room. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That was that's a that's a, a nice way of using uh, 
a parallax background, bro. Really nice. I like that. Yeah! This is taking way too long. This was supposed to be a clean hit and clean hit and run. This force field is more tricky than I thought, damn it. Murray! Jack! We're out of time! We've got company! Damn it! We're going to get killed if we don't get out of here! None of you are leaving the station. Surrender now and we'll spare your lives. Uh, not life. Maybe because you're talking to a collective. Not a chance! We have you outnumbered. Oh, my dear sweet summer child. You have no idea. We have Director Ra on our side. You know you, you guys are, are doomed. Doomed, I tell you, doomed. I'm gonna see if I can try that and see how that works. So I'm pretty sure there's like, increase. oh, okay. That's interesting. So it gives you extra HP. Kind of like it's a bonus, I guess. What? How could I possibly miss? No, look out, Director. Ah! Yeah, I'm going to keep doing it every time I see that guy's name. Uh oh. So, what can he do? Wow. Okay, temporary deceleration field. Slow down the entire enemy party. Shell mist, a fast drying mist that forms a flex machine over the party of increased defense for the whole party. Gamma ray pulse. Wowzers. This guy, he's got the hookup. Cooking the enemy. Is it a whole party thing? This man got the hookup. Oh, he about to go for the director. Not the director. No, not director. Ah. The director's down. All right, let's see if we can get him back up. A pool pile. Testosterone. Nanobite gel. Uh huh. Advanced med kit. Okay. For near death. Epinephrine shot. Oh, girl. You. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? She said, I'll see you now. That dog gone, girl. All right, well, you missed. Come on, come on. All right, so. Items, an epinephrine shot. Okay. Aren't you guys burning or something? Shouldn't you guys be burning up at this point? Dog, go! Man, these guys take a long time to kill. Get him up out of here. Really? Ugh. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way, I guess. Really? Jeez, your, li your life failed? Wow. That's crazy. Well, which one is that? Hold on. I guess we'll go with this one then. Sheesh. It's just, I guess he's just so, he's just so slow, Director Ra, that is. I'm going to use the D5, set the D7 excuse here. I'm, I'm going to use that. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the, the, the game over screen. That's what it is. Excuse me. Uh, 
I just want you guys to, I wanted you guys to see what the what the you know what 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 the what the what the what the game over screen looks like. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for you, see. I make the mistakes that you don't have to. You don't have to, see what I'm saying? I almost had him too. I guess if I did more attacks and stopped worrying so much about I guess I should have what I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna do. I'll put that on him. That 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 uh Matt Khan clone thing. I'll put it on him so he can do his uh microwave attacks. Those attacks are crazy. Let's just save again, just so we don't have another <laughs> embarrassing moment such as that. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely like the way you did with the, the did that. Really cool. Really cool. Psychronic. Really cool. Nice use of a parallax background, bro. Really nice use of it. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's four feels trickier than I thought. Yeah, yeah, Mary, Jack, we're out of time. We've got you outnumbered. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. Why don't you understand, Mary? All right, so let's see items. Hmm, a canine heart, testosterone gel. Attack 150%, huh? You know what? Give it to him. So when he does his microwave attack, man, it's going to be something. It literally is going to be everything. Everything. Come on! That's booty. Burn! Burn, damn it, burn! Okay, yeah, this is getting kinda a bit annoying, just a bit. Really, bro? She dog on it. Either I can take some of them out now. What? Oh, wait a minute. What? How did that possibly miss? You know what? I'm not even, you know what? I'm not even taking a chance. How did that possibly miss? Jack! Damn it, we're out of time. We need to get out of here. Neither of you are going anywhere. Jack, I'm hurt. I guess this is how this ends for us. Computer, transport these intruders to the brick. Why didn't you do that the first? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't you just say that the first time? Affirmative, Director. Ah! No. Yes, apparently. Why didn't you do that the first time? Why would you? I don't. I don't now we can find out how they knew, know about the quantum ship and dip. We still need some time to clear the station of the remaining Marines. What about their ship? We'll need to investigate that. I will look into the records of these terrorists or who these terrorists are. I will meet you two in the Great Hall as scheduled. We're not going to let one attack derail our progress. Dismissed. Yes, sir, Commander. Rah! Welcome, everyone. This meeting has discussed the war. 
Station 11 is a prime target, as you all have just witnessed. ESA Central Command did not expect that the rebels would attack the heart of our territory so soon. We need to hit them back where it hurts. Without the valiant efforts of our crew, Station 11 would have already been compromised. We were lucky, but we can't continue to rely on luck. I would like to introduce Deputy Director Alice Cromwell. She comes directly from Central Intelligence Command. Sick, or kick, I guess you want to call it. We are fighting an enemy committed to our total destruction. They used to be part of the alliance that binds us all together. They have become traitors to their people. Even now, they're working with their co-conspirators. The Krill have provided the rebels with advanced technology. If not for the Krill, we would have easily crushed their nascent movement long ago. Nobody should be worried. We're going to win this war. We have the numbers, we have the resources, and time is on our side. It's thrilling. We will utterly desolate those worms, uh, uh, utterly obliterate those worms. The ESA Navy will be moving forward with Operation Galactic Storm. Mm hmm. That's a cool picture. I like that. Nice job. Nice job. As most of you know, the primary NS fleet, NVS fleet, and the ESA second fleet have been in a stalemate for three years. Ever since Novus entered into a trade agreement with the Krill, if our fleets were to attack now, we would take heavy losses. Correct. We need to break the back of these worms in one fell swoop. Nova Station is the transfer port for most of the cruel technology flowing into the hands of the rebels. We have to cut the rebels off from their lifeline. We are going to destroy Nova Station. And how are you going to do that? The K9 pack has also entered into a defensive pact with Novus, but they are far weaker than the Krill. We have the superior number of ships. We must use this to our advantage, okay? Novus knows we want to take our Nova, take out Nova Station, so we throw them off a bit by initiating a full-scale assault on the Canites. Why? If we attack the Canites, Novus will need to divert resources away from Nova Station to defend their allies. Uh huh. But then you'll be fighting a war with the Canites and the Novus at your back. This is the moment when Nova Station is vulnerable to attack. Uh huh. After Nova Station falls, they won't stand a chance. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Operation Galactic Storm will begin in five days. We still have much preparation before this operation will be successful. More details will be provided to crews on a need-to-know basis, of course. I have been assigned to Station 11 for the duration of the war. I have been sent to ensure operational victory. Please come to my office if you have any questions. Central Command admires and respects the work you all do. We wouldn't be here without your support. Long live the Alliance. Why aren't you saying it with a smile? Lieutenant Al Omi, Lieutenant Anna Valenti, report to Director Ra in the main lab. Uh, okay. Guess I got to go to the main lab. So here we go. You're back. Both of you went above and beyond the call of duty during the attack. I want both of you in on this investigation. Thank you, Director Ra. It's an honor to serve the Alliance. They must have known this was a suicide mission striking at the heart of ESA territory. They were trying to access the quantum chip and dip. You said you were going to tell us about what this quantum chip and dip is. And does it go good with guac? It's an artifact found on Vega 2, some lost, some lost civilization. 
The device has many mysterious properties. Research has been ongoing. What do you think these guys wanted it for? Our interrogators were able to gather they, that they aren't pirates or mercenaries. Then who are they? Their IDs are not in the system, which means they either removed their ID chip or they came from beyond our rim. Hmm. Humans beyond the outer rim? That sounds interesting. Lawless space? Yeah, man. Lawless space, baby. It's a rougher life, but it's not exactly lawless. There are laws, but they aren't, but they can't be enforced. And safety is a big issue. I see. Okay. Where they come from, they don't have ID chip implants. Life is different beyond the outer rim. Apparently. Colonists sought out opportunities they were not able to find on Earth. They didn't find many. This led to anger and resentment toward the Alliance. I mean, and others will take advantage of that lack of protection and anger. The result was violence, hatred, bloodshed with the formation of Novus. Many blame the Alliance for these problems. We pursued colonization so aggressively in the beginning. Well, I mean, it makes sense why they would have so much bad, bad, bad blood. Between the ESA and its far-flung colonies, we've never been the most helpful to them. They had to adapt. Officially, lawless space is part of the Alliance. However, we're not able to defend those worlds. It's true. Now, various rebel factions are competing for control. I have a hunch they are a part of a larger resistance movement taking place within the ESA. They would not have come this far from the home otherwise. There's got to be a spy somewhere. We'll find them eventually. We always do. Mm hmm. So you think they wanted the quantum chip and the dip for strategic purposes? I'm not sure, quite sure. We have been asked to find out more. The interrogators were only able to get so far. We have the authority, the authority to go further. <clears throat> we may need to use a mind probe. I've heard those hurt pretty bad. I've never heard somebody scream so loud in my life. Are you sure this is the best way to get information? Yes, mind, prob mind probes are painful, but not deadly. Remember, they invaded our station. We could have killed them if we wanted to. This is nothing wrong. Oh, this is nothing, excuse me. She's like, you bastard. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, though. Sometimes the thought of a mind probe is enough. We should get down to the brig. And Director Ra joins the party yet again. And Anna joins the party. And we got a new objective. Interrogate rebel prisoners in the brig. All right. So I think that's probably a good place to end off right now. So I want to thank you folks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Star Shift Mondays. <laughs> I'm playing the alpha, I guess the, the older version of the alpha, because I believe the developer told me he's going to go back and make some uh, revamps to it. He's, he's gotten better at storytelling, gotten better at doing with the events and everything else like that. So if you did enjoy this, hit the thumb, subscribe, ring the bell, ring it twice. Make sure you get all the notifications and all so your boy can get hit and blessed by the algorithm. And yes, the links for this and all of his other projects are going to be down below in the comments, uh, uh, the description. So be sure to leave uh, 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 your thoughts down in the comments section. Let your boy know what's down on down below. And I will see you guys again on the other side. Bye bye. <laughs>